Welcome to Ultimate Autographs. If you were looking for the internet's most exciting and interactive live break room, then you have come to the right place. We are opening live break mystery boxes featuring the biggest names from across the sports world every single day. If you're new to breaking with us, we can help break it down and make it as easy to understand as possible. First, head over to the live break page and look for a series that suits your interests. Most of our series will have eight spots, which represent the eight NFL divisions, but other sports, breaks, or mixers may vary. If you purchase one spot, that means you have a one in eight chance to win that item at an extremely discounted rate. Next, click add to cart to purchase your live break spot. Once you've completed your checkout, tune into the next available live breaks broadcast on Facebook, Twitch, or YouTube at noon, 3, or 6 p.m. Central Time any day of the week. As you watch, you will see your name appear on the screen when your specific break begins. Your name will go into the randomizer and will be randomized a specific amount of times based on that evening's dice roll number. Once randomization is over, the list of names of people that bought into that live break will be matched up with a specific division. If the item that is pulled from the mystery box matches your division, congratulations, you just won an incredible piece of signed memorabilia. Want to guarantee yourself an item as opposed to testing your luck? Some of the series that you see on the live break page can be purchased under the mystery box tab of our website. Those boxes could either be shipped directly to your door or open live on the air before being sent to you. While you are there, make sure to sign up for our Signature Points Club. This exclusive club earns you points toward specific discounts, signed items, or exclusive events each and every time you buy at ultimateautographs.com. Oh Your breaker God. for tonight's oh show. Oh my God. Likes long walks on the beach. Candlelight dinners in his Patrick Mahomes jersey. None are better than this one. The best quarterback in the world. Oh, there Patrick is. Mahomes. Yes. And staring at the messy posters over his bed, it's Common and Chev. The moment you have been waiting for has come. Let's break some signed memorabilia. Hello and welcome to Ultimate Autographs. Common and Chev here with Alex Telez. Ready for a busy show today, Alex? A lot of good stuff in the room. Uh, we actually have three of the favorite series in the room right now, all here at once, all with pretty good headliner ratios. For example, the Diamonds, we have 17 boxes left, eight headliners left, including six photoed, uh, including a Steve Young Chrome Speed Flex, which you can double up with the Deion Sanders Niners Authentic. There's an Emmett Smith, a Michael Irvin, and a four quarterback autograph for the Eagles, the Eagle Quad, as we call it. You can win multiple things with one spot in that diamond double. It is loaded. The Vault Series, almost every headliner out there. Big names, John Elway, Barry Sanders, Randy Moss, Joe Montana, C.D. Lamb, Michael Irvin. We can go on and on. That series is absolute fire. The Practice Squad, where you can win authentic helmets for as low as $49. Every headliner but that Cowboy Duel sign still out there. Big names like Ben Roethlisberger, one we don't see very often. One of the big dogs in that series. Uh, we have a, a sick uh, triple sign Washington jersey at Puka Nakua. Uh, got all the good stuff. Curtis Martin speed flex. I can't wait to get started, Alex. How are you doing on this Wednesday afternoon? I'm doing good. It's a, it's a nice little Wednesday here. And mm -hmm. uh, Jante Porter. Oof. Oof. Yeah, tough Oof. news. If we don't talk about that. No. He's a Mizzou guy. I told you off yep. air. I yep. actually... No, John T. Porter. Uh, he he's a guy I used to cover when I covered Mizzou sports. I will say unexpected, Alex. But for the guys that believe in conspiracy theories and betting, uh, I guess score one for you guys because John T. Porter looked that up. Uh, definitely got himself in some hot water betting on his own uh, spreads. The modern day Pete Rose, I guess. Yeah, John T. Porter. Uh, so. Let's get the party started, though. Two pre-fills. We have the jerseys and the diamonds. Uh, I'll pull up our randomizer looking for two virtual dice, six or higher on the dice roll. Let's see here. We got six and a one, seven on the dice roll. Uh, heading on over to the Wheel of Names. Let's see what we're chasing for this early show. Uh, we have ourselves... How about this? The Vault, which is... An incredible series in the room. Lots of awesome headliners. It's a vault, full-size authentic, and full-size mixer. 
Uh, there's no minis, no jerseys, uh, all authentic or rep helmets. And I think we're pretty close on that vault double. So we'll definitely knock out at least one break in that, but probably multiple, Alex. Could be three to four breaks, you know, six to seven, eight boxes. A lot of good stuff in that vault break. How's everyone doing on a, a wonderful um, you know, noon show here? About 20 folks watching, Alex. Let me know how you guys are doing today. Uh, no doubt about that. Jersey break coming up. Jersey single. Love hurts. Yeah, it does hurt. But this is more positive spin on love. Jordan Love, Jordan Hurts, or Jalen Hurts, excuse me. Uh, those two guys got pulled, but A.J. Green, Antonio Gates, Eric Dickerson, Brian Urlacher, all still out there. So let me know, guys, on the number. Adam, Apollo, Mike, and Heather. Apollo St. Clair told us he was named uh, after Apollo Creed. Yeah. So that's cool. That is very cool. Uh, iconic movie, Rocky. We even had a Rocky autograph here recently in the room. Speaking of Apollo, uh, Apollo 13. He wants 13. All right, Apollo 13 works in the jerseys. Uh, that is going off our ticker here, box 13. And then we have the diamond single to follow, Alex. Oh, yeah. And that diamond double, only three to go. That vault double, only four to go. Get them closed. Minis are only three to go as well. So we are... Uh, knocking on that doorstep of multiple breaks, guys. All right, let's throw these guys in. Uh, let's get them set up for the first break of the show. First of, I'm thinking, many today. So dice roll was, what, seven. So that's six and seven. Uh, we got Heather in the entire NFC. And she's got the AFC North. Uh, we got Apollo AFC South. Adam AFC East and Mike, you've got the AFC West here in our Jersey series. Box 13 coming up. Ooh, this is good. This is a secondary headliner, I believe. Uh, former Super Bowl champion, a league MVP. He's a college football Hall of Famer. Uh, one of the all-time great quarterbacks, Joe Theismann. Uh, the nice yellow Washington jersey. Uh, believe it or not, not even a photoed headliner in a jersey series. I mean, get out of here. JSA certified, Heather Livingston in the NFC East. You've got Joe Theismann. Should I go with the Theismann story or not, Alex? Oh, you can't go wrong with it. All right, I'll go with the Theismann story. So Joe Theismann's name was pronounced Theismann growing up when he was at Notre Dame. They thought they would campaign for him to be Theismann for the Heisman. He was a finalist. He didn't win, but the name stuck, Joe Theismann. So it is technically Theismann. His parents, I'm sure, at least they used to go by Theismann. Yeah. I don't know. You know, I don't even know if they're alive, to be honest. But I don't know what they go by now. Uh, but Joe Theismann goes by, uh, you know, what very few guys have done, a Super Bowl winning quarterback and the league MVP. Uh, so very cool right there for Heather Livingston. She's all about the roll tide. Uh, this is another iconic program in college, uh, Notre Dame for Joe Theismann. So good hit, Heather. Uh, good start here in the breaks uh, with the Theismann jersey. First of many will do today, Alex. Mm -hmm. First of many. Yeah, I can't believe that's not even a listed headliner. I know. Oh, no, it's he is weird. Listed. He is listed. He is not, listed, not yeah. Photoed. But not photoed. Especially on that Washington jersey. Mm -hmm. Love that Washington jersey. A nice little look on this one. A little bit different. Uh, he is a photo headliner on that triple signed Super Bowl uh, champion quarterback jersey. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I think it's uh, Doug Williams, Mark Rippon, and Joe Theismann, Washington quarterbacks to win the Super Bowl. All right, uh, jersey break is down. Diamonds coming up. This is, as I always call it, the cream of the crop break. Uh, Diamond single number one. Go ahead and drop me a box number. Uh, that is Heather, that is Adam, that is Mike, that is Jonathan, and Steven. Yeah, a little appetizer before the full course. Right? That's exactly what it was. We had the mashed potatoes, and now we have the ribeye. Not Ooh, the filet yeah. mignon, the ribeye, Alex. Yeah. Sorry, I'm a ribeye, guys. Wow. Sorry, filet people. I do like a filet. I mean, it's not I like that I don't, I don't like it, but I'm a more of a ribeye fan personally. Uh, so, I mean, I'll eat, I'll eat both. I know Dom's, I think he said he was exclusively filet. Dom? Yeah. Oh, Dom. What if he Dom? is going to, he's not just even a steak guy, but if he is going to have one, it's got to be a full Well, we're going to have to discuss this on Friday. <laughs> uh, Dom Pellegrini. What a guy. I'm lucky to be working with him on Fridays now. I'm oh, yeah. pumped. 
uh, Dom Pellegrini. Uh, so I'll give you guys about 30 seconds on a box number for the diamond single box. 30 seconds on a box number for 90 bucks, Alex. You guys can get a Chrome Speed Flex Steve Young. It's extra golden, even more golden than the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, Steve Young. So Pat Rich is in. Speaking of Pat, oh, yeah. uh, he's a big Niner fan. That's Steve Young. Uh, would be a great get for him. And he's not even in the single. Wow. Hopefully he's in the double. Pat is knocking out practice squad spots yeah. as we speak. He's been a big winner as of late. Yeah, he has. What's up, Pat? Uh, we got Slenhart, 31. I'm guessing that's uh, Steven Lenhart. Oh, yeah. Uh, seven. Thank you, Steven. Seven works. Afternoon, Chris Cornwell. Oh, man. Chris, Chris, Chris. Oh, big Chris got the helmet of the night last night. Uh, that Drew Brees ripped speed flex. William Maynard comments, he never gets Cowboys, but he always gets speed flexes. I was like, well, you know, a speed flex will get you multiple Cowboys. Uh, he is doing more than all right, Chris Cornwell. The guy did work on that Brees flex last night. Uh, Chris, you'll see this when you get it when it gets comes in the mail. Uh, that helmet is even cooler in person than it looked on our stream, and it did look cool on our stream as well. Uh, so one of those can't miss helmets. Uh, probably the most underappreciated quarterback, Drew Brees. Uh, he's a beast. We actually oh, yeah. did some de a deep dive on his numbers, and we found one year that he probably should have won the MVP. Him and Peyton Manning had almost identical numbers. Brees had. Like a couple more touchdowns, a couple less picks. Manning had more yards. Manning was 14 and two. Breeze was 13 and two oh. as starters. So it was one of those where the NFL, in retrospect, if they had to go back, they might give Breeze that one because he never got one, right? Yeah. Uh, can't wait, says Chris. There we go. Was that the year that Breeze beat him in the Super Bowl? Ooh, that might have been. I think that was the year, 2009. I think, yeah, I think, he, would, I think he would take the Super Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> I think that I think you're right. So I mean, who was the MVP that? Who was the real MVP that yeah, year? He proved it. He did prove it. Uh, Mike's got the NFC North. Jonathan NFC South. Stephen NFC East. Adam NFC West. Stephen AFC North and South. Heather AFC East, and then Heather in the AFC West. Diamond single coming up. Box seven. Last night we pulled a sick Eric Dickerson slate in this series. Oh, yeah. Or maybe it was the vault, but everyone was like, how was that not a photo of Heather? And I was like, it's the diamonds, high end stuff, the cream of the crop, the diamond helmets. Uh, you cannot miss in this series. They're all big, big names. Ooh, okay. Well, I like this guy. This is probably one of the three most underrated receivers in the league over the last like 10 years he's always one of the best and he's been a pro bowler with three different teams more than a thousand yards receiving with three different teams one of the best route runners in the game amari cooper the nice camel authentic for the brown stephen lenhart box number mojo on amari cooper i like that on the camel All right looks clean looks very clean uh, Alabama star. I know Heather will know all about him. Roll Tide. Oh, yeah. I actually watched this guy play against Mizzou uh, when I was in college. And no surprise, he, he tortured us. Yeah. He got us good. Uh, he's got a lot of teams good, Amari Cooper. He's always like a guy that's right around a top 10 receiver. And we never really hear him talked about among the best. But when, he's, when it's all said and done, future Hall of Famer. I mean, outside of Julio, because Devontae Smith is still, you know, young. Yeah. He's probably the best Alabama receiver. Yeah, that's that might be true, yeah. Waddle and, you know, Smith, like you said, young yeah, potential. Young, but as of right uh, now. But, yeah, Amari Cooper is uh, number number two behind Julio. doesn't matter what the quarterback is. Carr, mm -hmm. Watson, Flacco, Dak. A, a lot of different situations, yeah. but he always delivers Amari Cooper. So, good job there, Steven. Congrats on your Cooper authentic. All right, I actually have an Amari Cooper Alabama helmet in my collection. I got it from Dustin in the breaks, and that's one that I'm not giving away, Alex. I like it. I like me some Cooper. All right, so let's see what we might knock out next. We're close on a lot. Uh, we are close on a lot, so real quick, I'll focus in specifically on the breaks that are close. Uh, these should feel real quick, and then I'll probably do, I guess I'll sort of do a top-to-bottom rundown 
But let me focus in on the ones that we're really close on first. Uh, starting with the vault double box, two spots to go. That is the chase wheel spin tonight. And this series is full of headliners. I believe only two names that you see in this graphic are gone. That'd be Drew Brees and Shannon Sharp. Uh, so many other big names left. I mean, we have Straight Cash Homie, Randy Moss, Flash Authentic. One of the best receivers in the league's history. You can double up with Moss and, in my opinion, the GOAT running back Barry Sanders with the 1997 NFL MVP inscription. Speaking of doubling up, probably the two best Cowboy receivers ever for me. I know Lamb's got, you know, a lot of longevity to prove, but when it's all said and done, it's going to be Michael Irvin and CeeDee Lamb as the two best Cowboys ever. Uh, you can double up in the East with those guys. We got the best corner in the league, Sauce Gardner. Uh, we got uh, two top 10 quarterbacks of all time, Joe Montana, John Elway. That's the slate authentic for John Elway. The best defensive player in the league, TJ Watt. The fastest receiver maybe of all time in Tyreek Hill. Now we got Micah Parsons, one of the best defensive players in the league. Uh, OJ Simpson, who just passed away on that 1973 NFL MVP helmet. I mean, everything is out here in this series. It is absolutely loaded. Uh, actually, uh, we have technically 16 headliners in 31 boxes if we count the secondary names like Mike Vick, Warren Moon, Alvin Kamara, Ricky Williams. And we have four vault keys left, Alex. With the vault keys, it's a 20 and 31 chance at a headliner, a secondary headliner, or a vault key. And the one vault key we did... It was the low one, 50 bucks. Oh, ooh, how about that? So the 300, the 200, all the high amounts are still out there in that vault series. Uh, here's that sick, uh, or that sick, you know, hydro speed flex. Sauce Gardner uh, with the green tone and the white helmet, the green visor. Uh, that thing is absolutely stunning. Uh, practice squad has four spots to go. Uh, this is a crazy series where for $98 you can get two full-size authentics. I mean, I always say two headliners in a series that are authentics. We're always looking at more than a $1,000 value. In some cases, much more, depending on who the names are. Uh, you can double up with Jerry Rice, uh, the GOAT receiver, and Puka Nakua. Uh, Puka Nakua, one of the best receiver, I mean, the best receiver for a rookie season. Had all the records, receiving yards for Puka Nakua. You can double up for Steeler fans. Uh, ben Roethlisberger on that flat white with Jerome Bettis. One spot, two wins. Uh, you can double up uh, with the two jerseys, Staubach and the uh, triple sign Super Bowl champion jersey. Uh, I mean, we have so many options here. Uh, Terry McLaurin, Brian Dawkins, also NFC East hits. By the way, Dawkins is a rep and Chris Carter is a rep. The rest of these are all authentics, Alex, except for the jerseys, obviously. A uh, name we don't get often, Mad Max Crosby, one of the best pass rushers on a full-size authentic. And the best-looking autograph, Curtis Martin on the Lunar Speed Flex. Practice squad, we got 31 boxes left. We got 15 headliners total, three secondary and 12 main headliners, which is better than a 1-3 in three chance at a photo headliner, about a 1-2 in two at a secondary headliner in that awesome practice squad break. 98 bucks for two authentics, Alex. Does not get better than that. Unless, unless 180 bucks and you hit a Steve Young Chrome Flex and a Deion Sanders Niners Authentic. Uh, Deion's one defensive uh, player of the year award actually came with the Niners, not the Cowboys, mm -hmm. not the Falcons. We looked it up that year, Alex. He had three pick sixes that wow. season. Three pick sixes uh, with the Niners in 94. Uh, he had 303 yards of return yards that year. Uh, that's like a receiver for Deion Sanders. Six picks in all, an absolute beast. Prime time, had his best season ever as a San Francisco 49er while playing baseball that year as well, by the way. Uh, the Steve Young helmet aesthetically is as good as it gets. Uh, this is one of the best quarterbacks of all time. Uh, you know, of his era, Alex, he had the best pass rating of anyone in his era. The only guys higher than him in passer rating, guys that played in the 90s and 2000s. He's the only guy in the top 15 all time that actually played in the 80s, believe it or not. Uh, the best lefty quarterback, Steve Young. I always say these chrome flexes, you know, typically will be worth 
thousand dollars or more in some cases much more depending on where you look depending on how patient you are depending on who you talk to uh, but it's safe to say it's a uh, four digit helmet a thousand dollars or more you get it for 180 bucks and you get a Deion Sanders as well uh, that's not too shabby Cowboy Nation a great break for you guys as well Michael Orvin Emmett Smith uh, two great teammates won three Super Bowls together NFL's all-time leading rusher paired with one of the best receivers ever Hall of Famer Michael Irvin uh, we got the Justin Jefferson we were doing math Alex uh, yesterday me and Steven were trying to get our math on and you know if he stays healthy and and goes at the pace that he's going if he's able to play like 16 seasons at this current pace obviously uh -huh. gotta stay healthy now Jerry Rice's all-time record could be going down Ooh. and this is the one guy that could pass the goat Jerry Rice mm -hmm. Jay Jettis Justin Jefferson number one all-time in receiving yards per game he's already just under 6,000 four years in and he missed like six, seven games last year he have every Bears record he would have every Bears record uh, so we have the uh, Eagle quad as I mentioned four Eagle quarterbacks uh, that's McNabb, uh, that is Vic, Jaworski, Mando Cunningham, all awesome quarterbacks. Plus, we have secondary headliners left. Uh, great running backs, Eddie George, Marshall Falk. It's an 8 in 17 chance at a headliner, counting those two names. Went over the names in practice squad. Everything is left but the Smith and Dorsett dual signed. 49 bucks for a Speed Flex, 49 bucks for a Rice, for an Akua, for a Big Ben. A Big Ben Roethlisberger Authentic retails for about a thousand bucks on fanatics.com, Alex. You can get it for 49 bucks here, Big Ben. Uh, eight to go in the vault single, seven left in the jerseys. Uh, we are looking at 13 jerseys left. AJ Green, Antonio Gates, Eric Dickerson, Brian Erlacher, and secondary headliners Robert Mathis and Drew Bledsoe still left. Eight to go in the diamond single, one lone mini left. Two awesome running backs left with just five boxes left. That would be Earl Campbell and Roger Craig. So, guys, many should be coming up any minute now. One spot to go. And we should have the uh, Diamond Double 3 to go, the Vault Double 2 to go, and the Practice Squad Double 4 to go. All those breaks should happen within the next 20 minutes or so. With the 27 folks watching, no doubt about it, these are coming off the board here soon. Is there one that really piques your interest? One helmet you really want to see come out here, this program, Alex? I mean, you can't go wrong with the Steve Young. Steve I, I would Young? love to see the double up with Dion. That'd be sick. I mean, look at this thing. This is like as gold as it gets. I mean, look at how golden that is. That's an incredible looking helmet uh, for, I said earlier, Drew Brees might be the most underappreciated quarterback. Number two for me is Steve Young. It's up there. Uh, he, he is an absolute beast. I mean, his numbers, statistically, uh, you know, he didn't have as many cumulative yards because he played less as a starter. But on a per-game basis, a per-year basis, he actually put up better numbers than Montana. Yeah. Uh, he did. He was a beast. Uh, also won two MVPs, Steve Young did. Uh, incredible quarterback. Uh, the best lefty ever. And we're going to have a hard time finding a better lefty quarterback than him. But forget about the lefty. He's top 10 quarterback, period. Uh, Steve Young. Uh, awesome guy. Still relevant. Does a good job on television. Has that slick hair. Uh, guy's just an all-around winner. They close up a lot of breaks. Minis closed up first. Oh, look at that. And then the vault and then the practice squad. Did someone get a bunch at once? Uh, three different people. Ah, three different people. And we are sharing the load here. I love to see it. Michael Bennett, Chris Cornwell, Apollo St. Clair. Steven Lenhard, all these guys jumping in here in the last minute or two. Uh, thank you, guys. Minis are first, you mentioned? Yes. All right, so minis are first. Mini double number one. Go ahead and drop me two box numbers. Let me guess. Michael Bennett is in that practice squad. Oh, yeah, he closed that up. Where's William McPherson at? That's what I'm wondering. He's been the closer. So Michael's a Washington fan. William's a Washington fan. We don't get Washington headliners all that often. We have a Terry McLaurin authentic, the Slate authentic, and we have the triple signed William Steisman and Rippin uh, Super Bowl MVP jersey. So I think we got the diamond double closed up as well. Let's go. Great job, guys. 
I'm knocking out all these breaks here real fast. Uh, Paul closed the two-minute warning. Thank you, Paul. Uh, so box three in the minis for him, Steven. And the mini break is a double box break. I need one more. Let's do 18 because Apollo says 16 and 18. 16 is not in the ticker, but 18 is. So let's do 3 and 18, Alex. We got Drew Locke and Peyton Manning, both former Bronco quarterbacks. I had to throw in the Drew Locke. That's right. That's the how we do. Giants starting. Quarterback. Yes. Let's go, Drew. Let's go, Drew. Us Mizzou guys, we pulled two Brady Cooks in the last two college series, Alex. Oh, I, I lost my mind. Well, there is like a thing trending on Twitter of Daniel Jones's eyes during his press conference. They're lit, like lit up, like Ugh. that. What? Yeah, that guy is not the answer. Megan says today's my thirtieth birthday. Fingers crossed. I got something. Happy birthday, Megan! The big three zero. Oh, that's fantastic. Thirtieth uh, birthday. Happy birthday to Megan, and she's in this mini break. Uh, chasing rings here. here we go. Uh, what's your squad, Meg? Uh, I remind me of your squad. Happy birthday, says Sean. Megan says thank you. You're very welcome. Cool. I remember my 30th birthday, Alex. It was a golden birthday. I was 30 on the 30th. I'm on the 30th too. So uh, yeah, 30th of what? August. Oh, okay. I'm July. That's there cool. We go. Yeah. So I'll be turning 34 this year, I think. Boy, you really stop celebrating birthdays once you get <laughs> in the 30s. It's like, ah, just another day. I call it a chance to get cheesecake because I love cheesecake. Go. And I always request cheesecake on my birthday. Uh, we got the NFC North, Megan. Steven's got the NFC South, NFC East, Apollo, NFC West. Uh, we got uh, Trevor, AFC North, Steven, AFC South and East, and Roderick in the AFC West. We got more happy birthdays coming in. Happy birthday to Megan. How about this? I'll do this. If she wins a break, I'm going to sing a happy birthday to her, Alex. Okay. Uh, that, that, that's the extra prize she gets if she gets an item here today. Ooh, Apollo. 831, the day after you, Alex, ah, is his birthday. There we go. Apollo St. Clair. That's awesome. Colin Rudisil was also an August a birthday guy. Uh, so is Roger Fetter, one of my favorite athletes. Uh, here comes one of my favorite eagles of all time. Ask John Sutter, my third favorite eagle of all time, Alex. It is Darren Sproles, baby. There we go. Uh, beautiful eagle mini helmet. Uh, still has to this day uh, the all-purpose yards record. Uh, back in 2011, Alex had more than 2,600 all-purpose yards. Uh, that is rushing. Uh, that is receiving kick and punt return yards. Three-time Pro Bowler, part of the 2010s All-Decade team as a return guy, Stephen Lenhardt. We actually pulled Darren Sproles last night on a K-State lid, Ooh. and now it's on the Eagles. Like so, that. very nice, Stephen. You've got Darren Sproles. And Darren Sproles is awesome. I mean, Remember everywhere he went. He, he's, he's so fun. Saints, Chargers. Uh, I love athletes that are undersized. And also old athletes, Alex. Outside of the superstars, I look at those like guys that shouldn't be good, but they're good anyway. Yeah. Like they're in Sproles. Happy birthday, Megan, from John as well. What's up, John Wells? Uh, John, we got some good Niners in the room. I know John's normally a Jersey guy, Alex, but there is a Deion Sanders and a Chrome Speed Flex Steve Young in the Diamonds. Mm -hmm. Should he venture on over there? Common, you'd be better off not winning. Common singing. OMG, LOL, but happy birthday to you. Oh, okay, Bob. All right, Bob. Uh, pull one for the 30-30, says Apollo, right? <laughs> I like that, the 30-30. All right, let's see if we can get Megan a win. Let's see if we can get her a song here. Uh, not this time. It's a double up for Steven. Uh, we got one of the best... Offensive lineman of all time, Tony Baselli, Hall of Fame, 22 inscription, the first Jaguar ever drafted, the first Jaguar in the Hall of Fame, uh, one of the best offensive linemen ever, uh, got the job done for Fred Taylor, Mark Brunel, uh, those you know great Jaguar teams in the late 90s. Congratulations, Stephen, on Tony Baselli. 
I almost said same, but deleted the post, says William. Okay. All right, well, all right, I got to send these guys the review. One of our company reviews, someone uh, posted in the review that they love the karaoke for me. Oh. So there, there's people out there that love it too, Alex. Interesting. Usually the haters <laughs> are more vocal, yeah. but the lovers are out there. Uh, so congrats, Steven, uh, on the Tony Baselli. So that was actually two fillers, Alex. Uh, I guess we could put up a triple and end it that way. I know I'm usually hesitant to put up a triple, but there's two headliners in three boxes. Okay. Let's do a triple. Let's make it a little different than the minis. Uh, and I guess we'll take down the personals and we'll close out the minis this way. A triple box break with two headliners left in those minis. That'd be Earl Campbell and Roger Craig. Let's see how it works. I'm normally, a, you know, two doubles and a single. Yeah. But we'll mix it up this time. Uh, why not mix it up a little bit? Uh, we have the vault coming up next. The vault double. We got John Ryan, Mark Stoner, Stephen Lenhart, Pat Rich, Apollo St. Clair, and Chris Cornwell. Vault double number one. Go ahead and drop me two box numbers, guys, for the vault. Big sports day today, Alex. I know... For the soccer fan like me, I was heartbroken yesterday mm -hmm. over that Barcelona red card. We have Man City and Real Madrid and Arsenal and Bayern Munich, probably the four best teams left in the competition, all playing in semis today, and they're both level, both ties. We have the NBA playing tonight. Hopefully the Bulls uh, can get past the Hawks. No. Uh, you don't want them to get past the Hawks? No. I always want my team to win. I'm, I'm sick of Jerry Ryan's phone teams. Okay. All right. Well, I guess the uh, baseball one's a little bit worse. Uh, seven in the vault. Thank you, Steven. And we'll do seven in the vault. Uh, this is a double, actually, right? Yeah. And Chris wants 10 and 19. So, Chris, uh, would you like 10 or 19? Because Steven was first with seven. You can have one of those two. Which one would you prefer, Chris? Uh, he wants 19, Joe Montana on the Chiefs. Uh, so actually, Joe Montana is in this vault series, Alex. And he, <laughs> such a good series, man. Uh, Elway, Montana, Barry Sanders, Randy Moss. We are loaded with massive, massive names in this series. So we can have 8 to 16, so 18. And let's do 20 to 30 here for the vault. Thank you, Chris, on the box calls. Appreciate uh, the calls. We have the practice squad double and the diamond double next. And this is, you know, three of the most popular series in UA history, all going back to back to back. Vault double, practice squad double, diamond double. We are sure to see some fireworks here uh, in these double box breaks. As I always say, double the boxes, double the fun, man. That's what it's all about. All right, seven clicks. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, five, six, and seven. All right, Mark Stoner up top in the NFC North. Right below in the NFC South is John Ryan. Uh, Steven Lenhart, NFC East. Pat Rich, right where he wants to be. Niner fans got the NFC West looking for Joe Montana. That just makes sense to him. Uh, Steven Lenhart, AFC North. Chris Cornwall, AFC South, Pat Rich, AFC East, and Apollo St. Clair in the AFC West. I love that name, Apollo. Such a awesome, awesome name, Alex. No doubt about that. All right, let's see what we got here, guys. This is box seven. The John Elway box number. And we do have John Elway actually in this series, Alex, which is pretty cool. Got a full-size helmet coming up here, full-size lid. Uh, let's see here. Oh, okay. This is actually also one of the reps. I think I mentioned two reps. I think there's actually three reps in this series. Uh, this is actually this three in the vault. OJ Simpson, 1973 NFL MVP. Uh, OJ just passed away uh, here this last week. Uh, there are a lot of question marks about him off the field. I'll stick for now on the field talk because, you know, very much, Alex, I am terrified of OJ's lawyers, even when he's in the grave. Uh, on the field, one of the best players of all time, pro and college football Hall of Famer, Heisman Trophy winner, league MVP, 
back in 73, put it there on the helmet. One of eight guys with 2,000 rushing yards in a single season, and he did it in 14 games, Alex. Ooh. Arguably the single best running season ever. Pat Rich, uh, that is the AFC East. You've got the O.J. Simpson full-size rep helmet. That gold ink looks nice on the olive helmet. Uh, even the buffle on the helmet has his head down, says William, okay? He does have his head down on the helmet. So, and that is JSA certified on the juice, O.J. Simpson. Uh, very nice, Pat Rich. William says, embarrassed. All right. And all, like, you know, jokes aside, I have read uh, that the O.J. Simpson estate, the people representing him, are trying to clear, because I know he's got, like, he's got to give all this money to the Goldman family, mm -hmm. and they're trying to, like, not take his stuff. So there's actually still a legal fight going on oh. from his lawyers to this day, Alex. Mm. So I always say his lawyers are really good. That much, yeah. that much we can tell. No doubt about that. Uh, good job, Pat Rich. Johnny Cochran and the guys back in the day. O.J. Simpson. All righty. Uh, we have one more to go in the vault double box. Uh, let's see what we got next here. I'll put the juice lid away. That gold ink, though, man, that thing looks clean, oh, Alex. Yeah. I will say the gold ink looks super clean. Uh, I think we've actually pulled uh, a couple of uh, really good Buffalo running backs the last two days. Arguably the two best ever. We had Thurman Thomas and now O.J. Simpson. All right, the second box in the double box. Box 19 on the way. 19 of 35. Could we have another headliner here, guys? We have a full-size authentic, Alex. Okay. That's already a good start. You know, it used to be that the uh, only authentics in the vault were the photoed headliners, or at least secondary headliners. Nowadays, we got authentic fillers in this series, including one of the best tight ends in football. It's Dallas Goddard on the Eagle Lid. Uh, my favorite Dallas Goddard story of all time is that his parents were Cowboy fans. They named them Dallas after the Dallas Cowboys. And now he's a tight end for the Eagles. Oh. Go figure, right? That's how it works. That's how it works. Steven Lenhart, congrats on the Dallas Goddard uh, Authentic. It's the uh, black authentic on this one. Uh, definitely looking fresh. It is Fanatic certified on the Goddard Authentic. It's just so funny how that works, man. Uh, that's just how sports are sometimes. You grow up a fan of a team, you know, it's the only team you think about, then all of a sudden you're rivals with them uh, in the NFL. Mm -hmm. And that is, to me, one of the best rivalries because I look at that division race between Philly and Dallas, I think it's one of the most compelling races in the NFL this year. You know, obviously the Chiefs always win the West. I know the Ravens, Steelers, and Bengals will be fun AFC East should be competitive, but Philly and Dallas, it's like, in my head, it's like 50-50. Yeah. Like, what is going to go down to injuries? Eagles were more hurt last year. They didn't win the division. I'll pick the Eagles only because of this reason, Alex. They always flip-flop winners. And Dallas won last year. I guess it's got to be Philly this year. Yeah. Yeah, I'm picking Philly this year. Yeah, Philadelphia. I'm actually, I think Dallas might miss the playoffs. Oh, don't say that to all these Dallas fans. I know, fans. I know. They're not going to like it. Uh, I think Dallas gets in the playoffs. Wildcard team, Prescott, Lamb. They got Trayvon Diggs back with Micah Parsons. By the way, Micah and Lamb both in the break room. Uh, come and get those guys. We also have Cowboy Legends that didn't know what missing the playoffs was like. Michael Irvin and Emmett Smith in that diamond double box. There's always going to be a team that is, you know, a shoe in that doesn't get in. And there's always going to be that surprise team in the NFL. I can't wait to see who they are. First time around this page, how does this work, says Ronald Taylor. Uh, Ronald, first off, what's your squad, brother? And how did you hear about Ultimate Autographs? Uh, here's the live break page link. Uh, really, the best way to learn is to watch. Uh, but we're basically a live break room. You have a one in eight chance to win for each spot you buy. In our NFL divisional breaks, if you go to that page, 
You can read more about us. You can also see the UA Live Break Explainer video. Just to clarify, you're buying a spot in a live drawing. You're purchasing a spot in a live break, not a guaranteed item. Mm -hmm. uh, so honestly, Ronald, I would say watch the next 10 minutes because we got a couple more breaks coming up. Uh, you'll see how we get the divisions randomized, the boxes called out, so on and so forth. I will say, Ronald, if you're a Niner fan, you are very much in the right break room. We have some of the best Niners ever, in particular in the Diamond Helmets, Steve Young, Chrome Speed Flex, Deion Sanders, Niners Authentic. And then in the vault, uh, we have the Jerry Rice. Or not, yeah, Jerry Rice is the practice squad, actually. We yeah. have Jerry Rice in the practice squad, and we have Joe Montana uh, in the vault, uh, Alex. So we have... Probably like what the four most iconic Niners ever. I mean, pretty much. Maybe Dion, you know, didn't play there for as long. But you think about biggest names to ever play for the Niners. I think of Montana, Rice, Young, and Primetime, and they're all in here. And we also have Roger Craig in the mini helmets too. Mm -hmm. So we have all sorts of 49ers across our break room. Uh, no doubt about that. Got a lot of Christian McCaffrey in the room as well. Trent Williams, too. Trent Williams we've had as a filler hit. Debo Samuel. John Lynch. Uh, Brandon Ayuk. Uh, these are all big Niners. Actually, Ayuk was in the jerseys. Did get pulled. Uh, but let's get back to business. Practice squad doubles coming up. Practice squad double on the way. So I'll go ahead and ask for two box numbers. It's our first practice squad double, right? Yes. So practice squad double number one. Go ahead and drop me two box numbers, guys. First come, first serve in that practice squad. Uh, they're just for pull to get pulled in the breaks, Ronald Taylor. Uh, they are not currently up for retail sale. We are a live break room where everyone has a one in eight chance to win for each spot they buy. You can buy all eight spots, get a guaranteed win. But those items I mentioned are in our live breaks. Now we do have on the top of the break page where you can search for items. Some of those items might be available elsewhere, but as far as the breaks go, uh, those names I listed, those specific helmets I showed off, you can only win them in the breaks. And you're not guaranteed to get them, because as you see on our boxes here, we call these mystery boxes. Don't know what's coming out, but we know it's good. Uh, we got 13 and 29 from Michael Bennett, the Washington fan looking for Terry McLaurin and that triple signed uh, quarterback Super Bowl jersey. And basically, uh, Ronald, you know, we're a live break room where if you win with a couple spots, one spot, two spots, three spots, uh, basically you win an item at a fraction of the cost. Uh, you can buy all the spots. If you hit a headliner, it usually pays off. If you hit a filler, it's probably not going to pay off depending on what the item is. So all the spots vary online. Again, head to the break page, but you'll see our spots. You know, some breaks, like a vault double or a diamond double, 180 a spot, but two boxes come out. We've got break spots as low as 27 bucks a spot in the jerseys. So it really varies, but all of it is uh, awesome memorabilia. Everything is autographed. Everything's authenticated. Everything is legit here at UA. All right, seven clicks on the way. Pat, Steven, and Michael, good luck, guys. So, seven clicks. And do pay attention in that double box. Because I know sometimes people see the double box, Alex, and they're like, oh my God, that's a lot of money. But there's two boxes coming out. Yeah. Like 180 bucks seems like a lot, but what if you get Steve Young and Deion Sanders? Mm -hmm. uh, those are worth a lot more than 180 bucks, more than 10 times that combined, even more, honestly. Uh, you know, we could be looking at more than $1,500 value easy with those two lids combined, even pushing two grand depending on, you know, who you sell it to, right? Uh, so Steven's got the NFC North, and we got Steven in the NFC South. Uh, we got Michael in the NFC East. Pat's got the NFC West. Michael AFC North. Uh, Pat's got the rest of the AFC in the practice squad. Practice squad's a mixer. We got Authentics. We got Reps. We got Minis. We got Jerseys. Uh, most of the headliners are Authentics, but there's other good stuff mixed in. Here's a nice looking jersey. Nice looking jersey. Hall of Fame quarterback, two time Super Bowl champion. In my opinion, the greatest Cowboy QB of all time, 
Roger Staubach. Uh, the beautiful back inserted jersey. NFC East. How about that? The Washington fan gets a Cowboy quarterback. As I always say, good trade bait. Michael Bennett, good trade bait. Now you've got the dark blue Cowboy jersey on Roger the Dodger. Staubach. Hall of Famer, of course. Uh, Multi-time Pro Bowler. And one of the best quarterbacks to ever do it for Michael Bennett. William is jealous. There you go. I would be jealous, too, if I was a Cowboy fan. That's a nice-looking jersey. Michael says, very nice. Thank you. You're welcome, Michael. Uh, thank you so much for playing. And what is that? What do we always say in the, in the break room, Alex? Box number mojo. Mm -hmm. It's real. He, he called him out. I got the W. Closer magic as well. Closer magic as well, Michael Bennett. And he can double up now with all sorts of options. Yeah. Terry McLaurin, triple sign jersey. There's a Brian Dawkins. Uh, there's a lot of options in here. A lot of options to double up. So congrats, Michael. You know, I'm glad Michael's back in the break room. He was gone for a little bit, and I was missing Michael. He's always a positive force to have in our break room. It is good to have you back, Mr. Bennett. Trayvon Diggs out there. Trayvon Diggs is out there. That's a secondary headliner. So we got some options. That last one uh, was the jersey. This one is much, much heavier here on the authentic. Uh, play with Common is doing the box numbers. He normally is good luck on the first time buyer, says Sean. Okay. Well, uh, good to know I'm good luck. Uh, thank you, Common, says Michael. You're, you're welcome. 29. That's 28. Oh, 29? Okay. Oh, it is 28. Good call, Alex. So 29. We'll get the right box here uh, for Mr. Bennett. So, uh, box 29 is coming up. Thank you, sir. This one it's got a little bit of heft to it as well, Alex. 29 of 35 in the practice squad. Good luck, guys. What do we got here? This one's a full-size helmet, full-size replica this time. Ooh. I do always say everybody's going to have at least one of these in their PC. One of my favorite-looking lids. Uh, how about the Euler helmet for Aro Campbell? Uh, HOF Hall of Fame 91 inscription, one of the best running backs of all time. Texas tough, right? This guy was a oh, Texas yeah. Longhorn, where he was a Heisman Trophy winner, a college football Hall of Famer, then of course a Houston Oiler League MVP, uh, Hall of Fame 91 inscription, one of the backs, best backs of all time. JC certified Pat Rich getting richer with the Earl Campbell uh, full size helmet. So we got a jersey headliner and a full-size rep secondary headliner there for Earl Campbell. Gotta love the Oilers stuff. They look so fresh. Gotta bring it back. They gotta bring it back. The Texans and Titans played they each did. other. They did. That should have been for the Oilers. And they fought over it. And I think it was so the Texans... They, they think they won. The Titans got to wear it, right? Yeah, I think the Titans wore it. Yeah, because the Titans became the Oilers. And then J.J. Watt was mad on social media saying yeah. it should have been Houston's. Yep. Uh, so... Interesting. Yeah, I would love to see these more often. These are iconic lids. Uh, Houston Oilers. And, I mean, what, the two best Oilers ever, at least scope position-wise? Him and Moon. Right? Warren Moon and Earl Campbell. That's Not the two I would want. Uh, so, congratulations there, Pat Rich. All right, Diamond Double coming up. This is the cream of the crop break, as we call it. All full-sized authentics. Tough to beat the Diamonds, Alex. It mm -hmm. is tough to beat the diamonds the vault you know may have better headliners there is some reps in there but it's all authentic in the vault every single box that comes out is a full-size authentic and they're all big names right i mean we've had guys like warren sapp eric dickerson will anderson uh, those are just the filler hits in the diamonds not even headliners uh, speaking of the diamonds we got heather we got chris we got john paul jonathan and then the other paul so it's Paul Martino and Paul Salozniak. Hopefully I didn't butcher that too badly. Diamond double number one. Pauly C. Pauly C. Like Paul Canerco? Sure. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to say instead of Paul Although he's a K, though. Pauly D. Pauly D. Pauly D. Nice. 
Uh, diamond double. Let me know, guys. Two box numbers. And let's run back these breaks. Already got four to go on the next practice squad double. Got some movement on the practice squad. Four to go on the last mini helmet break. We'll have fresh minis in the room once that break gets cleared out. Yep. With fresh headliners, of course. So let's hear it, guys. What are the numbers here? So let's make it happen. We'll give these guys about 30 seconds, Alex. We'll revisit, revisit here in 30 seconds on these box numbers. This is uh, definitely my personal favorite break, unless like we have a high roller, sometimes a one and four. I do love the one and four, which that'll be back in the room here soon. But I like pulling authentic helmets, and we know it's authentic in this series. All right, here we go. Paul was first. Looks like 1 and 28. Chris and Jonathan were right behind with 33 and 21. So, Paul. I don't think we have one. In the diamonds? No. It's weird. I thought I double checked how many boxes we had. We got two and then four for the six. Eight and nine. Oh, I wonder if that's why. I checked how many boxes are left. Two should be on the ticker instead of one. There we go. We do have 28. 28 you have? All right, so yeah. one more number from Paul. Uh, so, man, that's weird because I actually counted how many boxes are left. I looked at the ticker and I was like, mm -hmm. the boxes match up, but it was one and two were flipped. He wants two instead, Alex. So, he wanted the highest one available and the lowest one available. So, two works. Thank you, thank you, Paul. The reason why I ask Paul is if our ticker is mi mixed up, I give you guys a uh, first chance to call out the right numbers. If you guys call out numbers that aren't there on the ticker, it is the first two valid numbers we go with. So 2 and 28. Thank you, Paul. We got Derek Jeter. And we got Curtis Martin. Curtis Barton, Martin box number. There is a Marshall Falk that's 28 that's in this series as well. Uh, that is a possibility here in the Diamonds. All right, seven clicks. Chris Cornwell up top. Chris has the NFC North. NFC South is Paul. Uh, the other Paul, Paul Martino, NFC East. Paul says Slesniak. Man, my God. Uh, you've got the spot, brother. Steve Young and Deion Sanders, potentially. Heather Livingston, AFC North. John Ryan, AFC South. Uh, Jonathan Farrow, AFC East. And Paul's got the AFC West. So the two Pauls are sitting pretty, right? I mean... Uh, we have Paul M. looking for an Emmett Smith, Michael Irvin double up. Paul C. wants the Deion Sanders and Steve Young double up. He says Niner fan right here. Oh, my God. Meanwhile, Chris Cornwell has the Jay Jetta spot, Justin Jefferson. Wouldn't that be nice? Steve Young and Deion Sanders for Paul. Oh, yeah. Or even one of them would be nice here in this break. Now those are icons of the San Fran 49ers. This is kind of crazy to me because this is considered a filler hit in this series. We are talking about one of the all-time greatest quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. Former league MVP, nine-time Pro Bowler, Hall of Famer, of course, the best Viking quarterback of all time. Fran Tarkington on the flash, authentic. Uh, that is Beckett certified with that QR sticker. Uh, HOF 86 inscription. Chris Cornwell, one spot. Fran Tarkington, authentic. Fran Tarkington would not be a filler hit in any other series no. but this one. Maybe the vault, but if we're talking about minis, jerseys, uh, that'd be a photoed headliner, no doubt. In the diamonds, it's just a filler. People always ask me how many headliners are out there in a given series. In the Diamonds, everything is a headliner. I mean, every single one is. We just can't list all of them, but this is very much a headliner in my book. Congrats, Chris Cornwell, uh, on the Fran Tarkenton. Love that. Absolutely love that. Such an iconic quarterback, Fran Tarkenton, uh, back in the day. Uh, Georgia Bulldog in college as well. Uh, so, good job there, Chris. See, I like the Viking Flash. I think their standard is so good that sometimes people look at it and they're like, man, the Flash, you know, 
isn't as cool as you would think, but I think it's really cool personally, Alex. Mm -hmm. It is a uh, beautiful flash. Uh, Blake is a huge Viking fan. Beautiful hit, Chris, says Blake Wincho. Well, if you're a Viking fan, I think you're in the right place. We have a Randy Moss Authentic in the vault. Uh, Flash Authentic, and we have a Chris Carter Slate Helmet in the Practice Squad. And those are just the photo names. We just had a Fran Tarkenton filler, Alex. So, a lot of Vikings in the break room. Blake, a lot of Vikings. And we have Justin Jefferson in the Diamonds. Yeah. So the Vault, the Practice Squad, and the Diamonds all have Minnesota Viking uh, all-time great receiver headliners. That's pretty nifty, if you ask me. All right, the second box here in the diamond double box. We got a college lid here. Ooh. I got a college lid. It's a college football Hall of Famer, former Heisman Trophy winner. Uh, the Heisman in 1995 put it there on the helmet. Eddie George. Ooh. So that's the AFC South because he was a Titan and an Oiler. We got the Buckeyes on the back, Beckett certified. Congrats, John Ryan, on your Eddie George Authentic. Uh, one spot, John. One spot, Chris. Nicely done, gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Uh, do feel a little bit for Paul. Uh, I always say, though, the karma comes around. Uh, your time will come, Paul. Uh, congrats to John and Chris, though, on two awesome hits. This is a secondary headliner, Eddie George. Uh, but, man, you get Eddie George, Ohio State lid, which... I know he was really good with the Titans, but personally, I love the shine on a Buckeye lid. The yeah. Buckeyes, and as good as he was in the pros, he was even better in college. Heisman winner. Heisman winner. I'd rather have Eddie George, Ohio State, than Tennessee for me, Alex, personally. So that's the one you would want it on. So Eddie George, Ohio State, Fran Tarkenton, Viking Flash Authentic. Neither one of those is good enough for a headliner status in this break, Alex. Mm -hmm. That's nuts. That is absolutely nuts. Congrats, John. And a big congrats on Eddie George. Uh, he was on the Madden cover, the first year I ever played Madden. Yeah. So I kind of associate uh, him as a big-time guy because it was right when I started watching football. The first Super Bowl I watched was Eddie George and the Titans against the Rams in 99. Uh, so this is a big part of my early uh, football fanhood as a kid. Uh, congrats, John, on Eddie George. You know what? I'll leave this one up for now. I, I, I doubt it's going to be in the hit video, but it's something a little bit different. It's a nice lid. We'll give Eddie George some respect. Uh, practice squad double coming up. John Wells, Jake McGraw, Frank Evans, Michael Bennett, and Mark Stoner in this next one. 38 folks watching. Keep the orders going, guys. We'll keep the brakes humming this afternoon. Uh, 1 o'clock, coming up on 1 o'clock, Alex, it's been pretty much nonstop breaks oh, yeah. the whole show, which is just how we like it here at UA. Michael Bennett's ready. He wants 17 and 28. Thank you, Michael. Already got two spots taken in the next diamond double. Uh, Alex, we're down to 15 diamond boxes left. Yeah. We have six photoed headliners. It's almost a 50% chance that a photoed headliner in the diamonds. Those odds are getting mighty good. Mighty good. All right, practice squad double on the way next. And then maybe diamonds, maybe minis, who knows? Definitely some good stuff coming up. Seven clicks. The five, six, and seven. All right, Michael Bennett's got the NFC North and the NFC South. NFC East is Frank Evans. Jake McGraw. Is he related to Tim McGraw? Oh, maybe. Who knows? Mark Stoner, AFC North. Michael Bennett, AFC South. John Wells, AFC East. And Jake McGraw uh, out there in the AFC West. These are both heavy, Alex. We got some heft to these practice squad boxes. Feeling hefty, hefty in the practice squad. I want to see that Big Ben Roethlisberger. In my opinion, maybe the top hit in this series. Oof. Well, we've got a new leader for hit of the show. It is the GOAT receiver, oh, yeah. Jerry Rice, baby. Rice, Rice, baby. NFC West, 
It's Jake McGraw with the all-time leader in just about every category, right? Receiving yeah. yards, receiving touchdowns, catches, more than 22,000 receiving yards. This guy at 40 was getting more than 1,000 yards. NFC West, we got the GOAT for Jake McGraw. It is Jerry Rice. Bring out that headliner fire, baby. That is what I'm talking about. Love Jerry Rice. And obviously, Alex, we talk about one season, one play. Randy Moss, who's in the break room, is super talented. Mm -hmm. But the cumulative numbers, the longevity of Jerry Rice, you can't argue against no, him, in my not, opinion. Not, not at all. Uh, he is no doubt the GOAT. How about it, Jake? Man, fresh. Awesome, says Jacob McGraw. Let's go! Uh, nice hit, says Casper. Uh, hit of the show here, Jerry Rice. And the, the crazy part is Randy Moss has about 7,000 less receiving yards than him. That's insane. That kind of puts it into perspective, man. I mean, the guy was good for so long. He was so good. It was like 1,000 yards, 1,000 yards, 1,000 yards. Uh, just incredible. Uh, through so many eras, through so many quarterbacks, he was always up there, Jerry Rice. So jealous. Nice hit, Jake. One of the comments coming through. Yeah, you did good, Jake. And there's one more box coming up. One more box coming up. Is this foreshadowing to seeing Montana, Young, and Deion Sanders here today? Ooh, gotta be. Normally, I like to do, you know, different teams, different players in the hit video. Yeah. But what if we did four Niners in the hit video? Oh, a Niner nice. theme. Yeah. That'd be sick. That'd be absolutely sick. I think the Montana and the Rice are the same. Mm -hmm. uh, but the Steve Young one, that thing is ridiculous. Very nice hit, Jake. I'm jealous, says John. As a fellow 49er fan, he appreciates his goat, Jerry Rice. All right, box 28. Another heavy one here. Should be another authentic. Likely a headliner, but who knows? Who knows with how that practice squad is these days? Oh, yeah. This is very much a headliner. <laughs> I mean... The two best hits are coming in this break. Uh, I know John didn't get a Niner, but he is getting a Lunar Speed Flex Curtis Martin, baby! Uh, with the beautiful visor as well. Uh, the best looking autograph, in my opinion, in all of memorabilia. A human being signed this helmet, Alex. Can you believe that? Really? This is nuts. Look at this thing. Thought it was a robot. It looks like a robot, man. NFL sixth all-time leading rusher, AFC East. John Wells, how about a Curtis Martin speed flex? Uh, that is fantastic. Yeah, it is. Holy cow. I know Casper likes that one. Casper's a Jet fan. He's got to like that one. Uh, oh, might be a trade, says William. Oh, here we go. That'd be a good trade, John and Jake. Rice for Martin. Ooh. It is a speed flex with the visor. Uh, he says, I love it. That's my second oh. Curtis Martin speed flex. That could actually really be a trade. Yeah. Uh, congrats, says Michael Bennett. Big congrats indeed. Uh, love the Curtis Martin autograph. Love the helmet. Love the visor. It looks clean. That's I mean that's what the practice squad is all about. Yeah. You get speed flexes and goats mm -hmm. for forty nine or ninety eight dollars. Even if you pay a few spots, like you pay like even three, four, five spots in a double box and you hit yourself it. an authentic it's still worth it i'm good to trade for that rice okay so jacob you have a trade offer if you're interested if not no big deal but there's a trade offer on the table is jake a new guy i don't recognize that name jake I mcgraw don't know. is that tim mcgraw's nephew who's got a lot of money to spend it's going to be until he says he's not all right so we'll go with tim mcgraw's nephew you don't happen to be a bango fan do you jake I'm willing to trade a Boomer Esiason that's coming to me, uh, says Dark Wolf. I guess the big question is what team does Jake like? Because yeah. now we're all curious. Yeah. I mean, whenever you get names like Jerry Rice or Curtis Martin on a speed flex, everybody wants to know what your squad is. Mm -hmm. John's a break room regular. Everybody knows he's a Niner fan. What's your squad, Jake? If he's also a Niner fan, then not a chance he's getting rid of the Jerry yeah, Rice. So... Either way, awesome double box. Rice and Martin right there. That's some fantastic stuff here in the practice squad. 
you know, you weren't here, Alex, when we first started, me and Steven did, a few years ago. But we used to run the practice squad as a $15 buy-in break. Crazy. And the items that were in here were nowhere close to this. I yeah. mean, it had no authentics, none whatsoever. And now we have speed flexes in the practice squad. We had guys that were actually on a practice squad. Yeah, right. None of these guys actually no. have ever been on a practice squad. These guys were not on a practice squad. I guess it's like a practice squad leading up to the diamonds, though, right? The big yeah. names, they get even better, and it's all authentics in the diamonds. Yeah, Michael's four for four today. He's four for four? Yeah. On the box calls. Yeah, all practice squad. Ah, nicely done, Mr. Bennett. Dang, Michael, nice box calls. Right on. Uh, double check. The only difference is my other Curtis Martin doesn't have a visor. Okay. Ooh, so this one's a little bit better then. Yeah. The visor just gives it a fresh look, Alex. I love the visor uh, for Curtis Martin. So safe to say we should run back the practice squad. Run it all back. Uh, we should run all of it back. That fire especially. I think we're probably going to run back the diamonds first, though, given that's five to go. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw a Jerry Rice... Steve Young next, Deion Sanders. I mean, let's be honest, Alex. If I had to pick the two most common fan bases in the break room, I'm going Cowboys 1, Niners 2 now. Yeah. At least of late with the Niner yeah. fans. Yeah. Cowboy yeah. Nation, Emmett Smith, Michael Irvin. Niner Nation, Deion Sanders, Steve Young. One spot, 180 bucks can get you two authentics that are worth more than a grand, more than 1500 uh, With such massive names in that series, that's a great spot to be in. And if you're not a Niner or a Cowboy fan, there is plenty of Niner and Cowboy fans in this break room that will trade with you. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have a Eagle quarterback quad uh, helmet, four autographs on that one. We have the Justin Jefferson, uh, the best receiver in the game today, maybe. It's him or Tyreek Hill, but I say Jefferson's a little bit younger, so he's going to be the best guy going forward. Yeah, It's, it's, it's him or CeeDee Lamb, who's out there in the vault, or Jamar Chase, who we we pulled earlier in the Diamonds. But moral of the story, all these best guys, Alex, very much in the break room. So that looks like perhaps the next break, two-minute warning. Uh, but that's up to you guys. Three to go. And that one out, three to go. The Diamond Double. All right, let's go. Is Pat Rich back in? No, it's Steven. Steven. Steven Lenhart, remind me your team, man. I know he's been playing a lot recently, and I, I'm blanking on his team, Alex. Uh, do let me know, Steven. He is balling hard in there. Chris Cornwell, Jonathan Farrow, all jumping in, making moves uh, in the diamonds, which is always the right move, Alex. The diamonds. Can't go wrong. If you win, you will not be disappointed. I mean, it is rare you're disappointed in any break, but it's possible. You get a jersey filler, a mini filler. It's possible you might be a little bit disappointed. You get a diamond helmet, you will not be disappointed. Full size authentic. Yes, we just authentic. we just have Fran Tarkenton, flash authentic, mm -hmm. filler hit, nine Pro Bowls, former league MVP quarterback, filler hit. Such a gorgeous helmet, says Casper, and it's not the only Jets speed flex in the break room. By the way, Ooh. we have a little bit of sauce. Yeah, still available in the vault double box. I'd rather have the sauce. No, no offense to Curtis Martin. Yeah. Great signature, but I'd rather have the sauce more expensive, mm. cooler-looking speed flex. Yeah, that's tough. I, honestly, I'm not even sure, Alex. I, I, would, like, I would like to have both. Yeah. Uh, here's that sauce you're talking about in the vault. Uh, it's uh, Hydro Flex. It's got the dark green visor. This is the light green visor. They're both nice. So uh, that's a speed flex still out there in that vault series. Uh, we do have the Steve Young in the Diamonds. So plenty of speed flex is still lurking. Uh, I really like this one personally. It's like extra golden, right? Look at that thing. Oh, Big Ben's still available in the practice squad. It's not an authentic. Nick, are you a Steeler fan? Because not only is Big Ben available, uh, so is Jerome Bettis. Boss. The boss is available as well. Speaking of one spot, two wins in the AFC North. Uh, that could be a very, very profitable spot. Uh, no doubt about that, Nick. So, I think actually Martin, Stahlbach, Rice, and me pulled... Uh, what was it? I think that's it for headliners. 
Smith and Dorsett got pulled last night. So most of the stuff is still out there in the practice squad. Uh, no doubt about that. I'm a Viking fan, but I was trying to win it for my father-in-law. Well, I got good news for you, Nick. Go and get the father-in-law helmet for you uh, in that practice squad. And you can also get Viking stuff for yourself in the vault. In my opinion, the greatest Minnesota Viking of all time, at least the one I would most want, Alex, Randy Moss. Yeah. Straight cash, homie, flash authentic. Retails for about a thousand bucks on fanatics.com. You can get it for, uh, what is that, $84 in the single? And you can get it for $168 in the double, and you can double up with the Barry Sanders. A tiny bit cheaper, $82 in the single. $82 in the single. So, uh, And then, obviously, if you're a Viking fan, you want to go current Vikings, Justin Jefferson. Oh, yeah. So Nick's got a spot for his father-in-law. He's got a spot for himself. And actually, that practice squad, Nick, there is a Chris Carter out there as well. So you get in the practice squad double, you get two spots. Maybe you get Chris Carter, and you get Big Ben both. Who knows? We've already seen Fran Tarkenton come out as a filler. Yeah, so right. His father-in-law would love that. That'd be fantastic. I guess that's kind of the key. You know, the father-in-law is somebody that you typically want to please, Alex, right? You don't want to yeah. You don't want to be on his bad side, oh. Nick. You don't want that. So uh, you get the father-in-law the right Christmas present. Uh, you're in the uh, good side forever, right? Uh, no doubt about that. What do we got, Alex? What's Michael moving? Michael Bennett wants another practice squad. He's hot. All right, Michael. Come and get those Washington guys. Nick said they grew up watching him. I remember when he got a fine for doing the fake moon against Green Bay. Oh, yeah. Randy Moss, when he did that, that was one of the most iconic moments for me as a sports fan. Uh, that was awesome. Uh, Randy Moss. Imagine how viral that would have gone today, Alex. Uh, the mooning of the Green Bay crowd or the fake mooning, so to speak. Yeah. Randy Moss. Yeah, that was cool. Now, that guy was him. Randy Moss was, was definitely him back in the day. Uh, phenomenal wide receiver. Uh, not a guy you could really stop. You know, three guys on him, no problem. It's the only guy that stopped him, at least one play I can think of, Charles Tillman, yeah. Uh, ripped it straight out of his hands. That, to me, was like, as a Bear fan, one of the most iconic moments because I had never seen Randy Moss lose a jump ball. No. Then he lost it, and I was like, he's what? a human being. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually human, Randy Moss. So we think. We think. Uh, part human, part alien. Uh, that's why he took plays off, Alex. He was uh, doing, like, alien things or something, right? Oh, yeah. A guy was awesome. Uh, Mr. Randy Moss. Yeah, that shouldn't be coming out tonight. The Straight Cash Homie. I imagine between this show, the 3 p.m. show, and the 6 p.m. show, and we're not going to leave that Randy Moss hanging in the vault. Mm -hmm. Although it does seem like the first chase tonight is going to be in the Diamonds, which makes sense because that one has the least amount of boxes left, Alex. Uh, we're down to just 14 boxes left in the Diamond Helmets. Uh, that includes... Six photoed headliners, Steve Young, Chrome Flex, Primetime, Deion Sanders, Niner Authentic, the Emmett Smith Cowboy Authentic, the Michael Irvin Cowboy Authentic, the Ego QB Quad Authentic, and the Justin Jefferson. Six photoed headliners, plus a Marshall Falk secondary headliner, which means 7 and 14 chance at a headliner. I am not a math major, but that is... 50% on the dot, Alex. 50% chance. Get it done. And Fran Tarkenton was just a filler hit in the Diamonds. Three spots left. 180 bucks a spot. Uh, a lot of good stuff in those Diamonds. Come and get that. That is probably our next break. Although the minis are four to go. We only have three minis left. Triple box break. Two headliners left, Alex. Four to go in the practice squad double. All right, so maybe that'll be first. Earl Campbell, Roger Craig are our headliners in the minis. Uh, practice squad double, a lot of good chances to double up in here. I would say probably none better than Ben Roethlisberger and Jerome Bettis. Mm -hmm. uh, probably two of the most iconic Steelers of all time, former Super Bowl champion teammates. Big Ben was just coming into the league. Uh, Jerome Bettis was just exiting the league. They won a Super Bowl together in Big Ben's first season. Uh, how about that? You won a Super Bowl right off the bat. Now, Big Ben Roethlisberger. 
Uh, we still got the Chris Carter out there for the Viking fans. A guy we don't get in the break room hardly ever, Puka Nakua. Yeah. That's a fun one. Rookie season record for receiving yards. He's off and running. Off and running, Puka Nakua. So I guess you could say he's on pace to break Cherry's record. I mean, he is technically on pace. <laughs> he's got a lot of seasons to play. Oh, yeah. Uh, but he's a beast, Puka Nakua is. Another NFC West double up. How about that clean, flash, authentic Sean Alexander? Ooh. Speaking of records, 2005 NFL MVP uh, had the record for most touchdowns in a season, mm -hmm. which lasted all but one year because of LaDainian Tomlinson. Mm. It's still the second most, though. Yeah. Still the second most for Sean Alexander. Uh, I know. I bet you Heather wants that one. Oh. She's a roll tide person. Oh. Alabama guy, Sean Alexander. I forget that. Yeah, she's all about roll tide. How can you not be? Some of those guys, you know, fans in the South, their college team is their pro team. Yeah. They love college football. We had a guy in here last night was asking, where can I find a Max Crosby Raider lid? I'm like, right here. Practice squad. It's right here in the practice squad. He's a beast, too. Uh, he is a beast. Uh, Brian Dawkins is a beast, Weapon X. We have the three autograph Super Bowl champion jersey as well. A lot of good stuff left in this practice squad, guys. Uh, come and get it. So that's four to go. Diamonds are three to go. Uh, we have minis are four to go. Real quick, guys, there is personals on our break page. You can buy our reps or our jerseys as personals. Uh, $344.99. You get a guaranteed win. Uh, do have Aiden Hutchinson, Debo Samuel, another 49er in here, Emmett Smith, Marshall Falk, Curtis Martin again. Uh, we got Devontae Adams and Jamal Charles. Our rep personals, which you can find on our mystery box tab. Three left in the practice squad. I, I think the practice squad might go first, Alex, actually. Yeah. It is catching ste steam here. Michael Bennett wants it. Yeah, I think one guy that I think would be the coolest to see in this break is a guy that doesn't sign autographs often, a guy we don't see in the break room very often. That's Big Ben Roethlisberger. Yeah. So, it's a clean steal. It is, it's, it's a flat white, I think, which... I know Craig Joseph mentioned this last night. He's never seen a Steeler flat white. How about that? Now, I've seen it, but it's been a hot minute. I think the last time it was Palomalu. Yeah. Uh, so this is very, very clean. Never Big Ben, though. Yeah, Big Ben's awesome. A couple slates out there, too. Yeah, Terry McLaurin, Chris Carter. Uh, so this is... I, I, we were talking about this last night. Obviously, comparing eras is really hard. Uh, but in my opinion, given his importance to the team and what he did for the team... I think Ben's the best Steeler quarterback of all time. I agree. Over Terry Bradshaw. You know, four rings for Bradshaw, but he also had the steel curtain defense. Well, I want to think of two. Big Ben, what, has two in Tom Brady's era? Pete Manning's era? Yeah. I mean, Bradshaw was the best quarterback of his, right? Yeah. Yeah, Big Ben would probably have four or five yeah, if it with wasn't that Steeler for Brady team. And Manning. Yeah, those guys, those guys took away some of them. Uh, no doubt about that, Big Ben. So that one should be happening here soon. I guess let Michael Bennett call the numbers because he is rolling in that practice yeah. squad break. Uh, guy has been hot, coming in hot in the practice squad. So let's keep it going, guys. Uh, who's knocking out the heat? Ooh, Zion won't play against the Kings, no, Alex. No, he will not. That's tough. Got hurt again, sadly. Oh, he was playing so good, too. 40 points before he got hurt. Right at the end of the game. I mean, I did hit my Laker bet, but still, that that's tough news for Mr. Zion. So we're going to have the practice squad. All right. I filled up first. That was quick. Don Garrick and Chris Ripka. Against who, William Maynard? Against Zion or who? I don't, I don't know who he's accusing. I would be careful yeah. with that. I know I saw that the lawsuit against Dak has moved to a different country. Uh, let's do 3 and 33, John. Thank you, sir. A Roethlisberger. Okay. Uh oh. Yeah, there's been some accusations of him. No doubt about that. You know, uh, he has been great on, on the field, though. That's for sure. All right. If you want an awesome guy, you know, great person too, uh, get that 
Uh, beautiful Barry Sanders helmet, right? That'd be nice. All right, I'll give you the Curtis Martin. If you want, you could put Cooper away. I don't think he'll feature in the hit video, or you could leave him up for now. Eddie George away. Okay, that's fair. All right, two boxes coming up here in our practice squad. Michael, John, Michael. Uh, what's up, Don Garrick? Long time no see, Donald Garrick. And Chris Ripka. He's a big time Steeler fan, uh, Don Garrick is. Uh, he's back after a while. Uh, looking for Big Ben and Jerome Bettis. That'd be nice. That would be real nice. All right, seven clicks. Uh, we got Chris Ripka up top in the NFC North, John Wells, NFC South, Michael Bennett, NFC East for the Washington stuff, Michael, NFC West, Michael, AFC North, Chris Ripka, AFC South, Michael Bennett, AFC East, and Don Garrick, AFC West. Uh, I guess, guys, I mean, I know you guys have a lot of each other's numbers. I would say put a call into William McPherson. Yeah. He's a Washington fan. We have a Terry McLaurin slate. And that's an authentic Alex. It is. And then we have the Williams, Theismann, and Rippin triple signed Washington jersey. If you guys know William McPherson, let him know about this practice squad because this is a very much his kind of break right now. Uh, we got Action Jackson. It is Fred Jackson, mm -hmm. uh, former Buffalo Bill running back, AFC East. Michael Bennett strikes again on the beautiful uh, dark blue custom jersey for the Buffalo Bills that is JSA certified on the Fred Jackson jersey. All right, Michael. I see you there, Mr. Bennett. Uh, you are heating up in the break room, to say the least. He's been very hot in the breaks here. I love the dark Buffalo Bill jersey. Looks clean, Alex. Yeah, it does. All right, he says, thank you. You're welcome, Mike. You're very welcome. I was going to say box number mojo, but actually John Wells called this out. So the assist from John. He is getting all teams except Washington, he says. He can get Washington right now, William. He's got the NFC East. He can get a Washington item next. Maybe Terry McLaurin. Maybe a triple sign Super Bowl jersey. Maybe he gets like a Brian Robinson filler for all we know. Ooh. You never know. Anything is possible in, the, in this break room. That's for sure. Oh, this is the Jackson, I believe. Let me double check here. Yep. Six, five, eight. Yep, this is it. The Fred Jackson cert. All right, good luck, guys. Box 33, the Larry Bird box. Or for football terms, Bina Tillman. Ooh. Tony Dorsett. Roger Craig. Roger Craig. In the minis. In the minis. All right, full-size lid coming up. Ooh, this is nice. This is nice. Now, we got the Chris Ooh. Carter Purple Ink. Slate helmet. Look at the purple ink man uh, with the gold face mask. Fourth all time in receiving touchdowns. One of the best receivers of all time. Chris Ripka with Chris Carter. How about that? Chris for a Chris. Uh, looks fantastic. The new slates uh, debuted this year. Uh, fire, says Dark Wolf. You say fire? Oh, there's the fire. Ooh. Chris Carter, baby. Right on cue for Chris Ripka. I mean, we were getting these slates before they even out in the market. Yeah, this is cool stuff. Yeah. Very, very cool stuff. Uh, great hit, says Michael Bennett. Great hit indeed on Chris Carter. Uh, the second Ohio State that I can think of off the top of my head today, we had Eddie George, Buckeye great. Mm -hmm. Now we've got Chris Carter, Buckeye great. Think about that fourth all-time in receiving touchdowns. Yeah. I mean, his name doesn't get mentioned enough among the all-time great receivers. No, no, no. Uh, so... 
Nice hit, Chris. I'll trade Curtis Martin for that. Oh, Ooh. Wow. Just to clarify, this is a full-size rep helmet. Uh, I know authentics are worth a little bit more in speed flexes. Uh, but you know what? The truth is, your team, your player is worth more than the market value. Uh, so uh, definitely put it out there. Uh, John Wells. I guess he's a, already has two Curtis Martins, but he does. Uh, that's a pretty good trade offer, Chris, if you're interested. Uh, Chris Carter for the Curtis Martin Speed Flex. And there we go. That's Chris Carter uh, without the H for Chris Ripka with the H. He says, oops, rep, never mind, my bad, says John. All right, so the offer is now off the table. The reps look about the same as the Authentics, yeah. Alex. Uh, and the Authentics are typically worth a little bit more, but not worth a lot more. Although Speed Flexes are next level authentic, of course. Yeah. Uh, so, value-wise, I imagine the Curtis Martin's worth a little bit more. Uh, but this is an awesome lid as well, Chris Carter. Still three to go on that Diamond Double, Alex. I thought that'd be closed by now, right? Oh. I thought we'd be closed on that Diamond Double by now. White Sox losing again, Alex. Oh, they're, they're horrible. You're not even watching it. You're watching Ooh. other team. Yeah. Are you watching your relative, Rowdy Telez? Nah, he's actually not on the Brewers anymore. Oh, where did he I go think now? He might be on Pittsburgh. I'll have oh, to double check. That makes on sense that. why they're doing better. No, I actually have a bet on the Brewers, and they happen to be getting no hit. Oh. Yeah. Well, they're not losing. No, they're not losing, which is great, but it's the sixth inning, and they don't have a hit. <laughs> well, you just. It's the jinx. You just I, brought I, it up. I hope so. Ooh, they're. Speaking of the guy we've been talking about, William McPherson. Do you think William Maynard texted him? I hope so. I think he did. How do you tell the difference between reps and authentics? Great question. So the rep helmet's going to have this like little plastic on it. The authentic's going to have this look to it. So that's really the main difference. If you put them next to each other, like the authentic looks like maybe ever slightly bigger, Alex. But you really have to like really be paying attention. Cause... Also, I think it was William Mayer that pointed it out one time. It's a little oval. Yeah, the oval. Authentic's got the oval. Yeah, Authentic has the oval. Yeah. So, they both look clean, though. Uh, did we save Redskins for you? We sure did. We, he says, not me. William McPherson just... Maybe he just got the back call. Uh, yes, we have some great Washington stuff, William. Uh, the Terry McLaurin full-size helmet. Uh, actually, that's an Authentic, Alex. The Slate Authentic for Terry McLaurin. Yep. Uh, that is saved for you, William. Uh, or somebody else. And we have the triple sign jersey, uh, Theismann, Rippin, and Doug Williams. So two Washington stuff out there. Uh, that is what I got in. Perfect. Yes. They're both left, sir. Uh, They're both left. Uh, come and get it, William. I was just saying somebody's got to text you and let you know what's going on. And I don't know if somebody texted you or if it was just a coincidence, Alex, that he popped in here. Yeah. And it seems like it wasn't, because as soon as I said it, he's in here right away. I know. Uh, so maybe he's got a break room buddy letting him know. Because, I mean, we, we try to have all teams out there, Alex, but let's be honest. Some teams are more featured than others, and Washington is not always as far as headliners on our break page. So yeah. whenever you can get two Washington stuff in one series for 98 bucks, as a Washington fan, you take advantage. Like Michael Bennett has been like William McPherson just got in. So we do have two to go on the diamond double, by the way, guys. Uh, we have the Steve Young, Deion Sanders, Emmett Smith, Michael Orvin, the Ego QB quad, and Jay Jettas. Six headliners left, photoed in 14 boxes, Alex. Uh, this one, obviously, uh, probably the cream of the crop lid uh, in the break room right now. I, I know that Hydro Flex is sick for, uh, you know, in the, in the vault. I know Barry Sanders, you know, obviously Randy Moss are always big names, Joe Montana. Uh, but sheer aesthetics-wise, this is the best lid in the room. Yeah. Uh, I know we have a lot of good ones, but this one stands out. I guess the other flex uh, is the uh, beautiful cornerback flex, Sauce Gardner. So what are we knocking out? Diamonds? Are we full, Alex? We're not full. We're getting more traction on the, the practice squad double. Five to go. Five to go. Five to go on the practice squad double. Yes, we are talking about practice today, Alex. Not the game. So 
So I'll put this on and hopefully we knock out these brakes here very, very soon. Practice squad break, we've done how many today? Let's take a quick peek. Six. Six today. So there's only 25 left in the practice squad. Uh, so we have Crosby, Bettis, Nakua, Car actually we just pulled Card Alexander, the Washington Jersey, Dawkins, Roethlisberger, McLaurin. We have four, five, six, seven, eight photoed headliners and ten total counting the listing. Uh, actually, I think I'd even be a... Oh, Earl Campbell we pulled. Yep. Yeah. So Trayvon Diggs and Jack Lambert. I actually should have looked up there. That would have been more efficient. But ten headliners left in 25 boxes. That's exactly 40%, Alex. A lot of authentics still. A lot of authentics. Actually... All the helmets you see except for Brian Dawkins are full-size authentics uh, in that graphic. So definitely recommend that break. Uh, and the diamonds, like I said, 50% chance at a headliner if we count the Marshall Falk secondary. And the vault is still loaded with massive names. I guess it's kind of like been behind the diamonds in the practice squad. But that one has a lot of fire left in it as well, Alex. Uh, well, it, the the vault is the wheel spin. It didn't land on the practice squad. I know we've done a bunch of practice squads, uh, but the vault is the chase wheel spin. Uh, I will say this, Alex. Just in case, John, I, I you know I doubt it's going to happen, but you never leave it past these customers. In the crazy chance we close out the last 25 practice squad boxes this show mm -hmm. we'll make it the auto chase as well see, there you go. Uh, so i mean i know it seems like a lot but i mean that's only like 12 double box breaks yeah we could skip our lunch break alex that's a possibility i did get a chance to have breakfast this morning it go. wasn't big it was my bagel i think it's like tuesday and wednesday morning yeah, when i'm wednesday rushed morning. i always eat bagels it's not every day but it's always tuesday and wednesday it's bagels for me i had a smoothie and a grilled cheese ah it's that's nice. So, uh, nice says John. Nice indeed, man. Uh, nice indeed uh, here in the UA Live break room. And looks like the practice squad might happen before the diamond. That's now three spots to go, Alex. Michael Bennett wants it. Uh, we got two big level players, two Washington fans, a break that only costs 98 bucks for two boxes. You better believe they're jumping in, right? Yep. You better believe it. Uh, practice squad is where it's at right now for our two guys that are big time Washington fans. So I'll drop that link in. I'll drop the diamond double link in. Uh, those two breaks are coming up here shortly. Uh, we'll definitely be on to at least two o'clock, Alex. We'll see how we're looking after two o'clock. Uh, we could be on two, two thirty. If we're busy enough, we'll skip our lunch break. But usually about two, two fifteen. We take a brief lunch break and reset for the 3 p.m. show. So definitely in the next 26 minutes, the practice squad double, oh, the diamond double, those will fill for sure. And hoping to get that mini triple done because uh, fresh mini is coming up. Yep. And we got two headliners in the last three boxes, Earl Campbell and Roger Craig. So those are all breaks. We should have no problem uh, knocking out here. Yeah, two to go now in that practice squad. Two to go. So all of a sudden, that will be probably the next break. And if you're wondering about the practice squad, you know, I said 25 boxes left, Alex. There's a pretty decent chance that between this show and the 3 p.m. show, the practice squad might be out of the room. Yeah. If it's not, it would be out of the room early in the 6 p.m. show unless there's like, what, two, three boxes left. All the photo headliners are gone. Mm -hmm. But all the headliners at least will come out today in the practice squad whether it's this show the next show or tonight's show if you're looking for the practice squad tomorrow you're not going to find it no. simple as that uh so i would say get in there now while you still can a good chance for steeler fans too i mean big ben jerome bettis we have a secondary jack lambert as well alex Ooh. so it's a good break for steeler fans good break for washington fans uh good break for everybody really I always say the best value break if you hit Authentics. Mm -hmm. I know the Diamonds is the best value break at a guarantee if you win because they're all authentic. But if you hit these Authentics for 49 or 98 bucks, you're sitting pretty, Alex. No doubt about that. So, 
and, and Don Garrickson as a Steeler fan. So the guys are getting it. The Washington fans, the Steeler fans. Where's Craig Joseph at? Yeah. Craig. Hot day, Craig, in the afternoon? I don't know. I don't know where Craig Joseph's at. And we got William with two spots, Michael Bennett with two spots, and then Chris and Chris Ripka and Don Garrick with one. Ah, all right. So knock, knock, knocking on that door. Yeah, or Steven. I know he was hot earlier now. Like Steven just about, was just about cooking. Every break. He probably went and got a sandwich or something, and he's going to come back here and just dominate the breaks. Oh, yeah. Sometimes man's got to eat, Alex. Is there still a no hitter going? There's still a no hitter. It's about to be the seventh, but there's also not been a run. Who's pitching for the Padres? Michael King. Okay. All right. Very different than the Cubs game last night, which ended 12 to 11. Oh, yeah. Kyle Hendricks, no longer good. Yeah, that's what Steven was saying, and I, it's yeah. tough to disagree with him. Uh, sometimes you lose it. Uh, sometimes you lose it. Oh, the White Sox are winning. Ah, that won't last. I hope it doesn't. I bet against them. <laughs> Two to one. They got a home run or something? Yeah. Oh, Paul DeYoung. Yeah, maybe they're like third home run of the year. Former Cardinal. Okay. The White Sox leading average hitter, 263, Alex. Oh, yeah. Uh, Gavin Sheets. Michael Bennett with another spot. So we are one away in that practice squad double. I have one to go. Who wants that closer magic? Practice squad double box. One to go. Hall of Famers left and right. Hall of Fame quarterback Ben Roethlisberger. Is definitely the big name left, but I mean, a lot of great other players. Sean Alexander, uh, we have Brian Dawkins, Puka Nakua, Jerome Bettis, Max Crosby. I love that flash authentic for the Rams, too. A lot of guys in this break, we don't see all that often. Yeah. We don't see Puka Nakua very often in the break room. Max Crosby, Ben Roethlisberger. Haven't seen Terry McLaurin much recently. I know we got him a while, a lot a while back, Alex, but recently. Not much of him. The gold ink on there, too, is clean. It's clean. Same for Sean Alexander, a guy who used to get all the time. Haven't had him much recently in the break room on that Flash Authentic. So a good chance to get some different items uh, in this practice squad. Terry McLaurin, too, is only going to get better quarterback play. Whether they go Drake May, Jade Daniels, it's going to be better than what he's had. Yes, I agree with that. I definitely agree with that. He's been putting up 1,000-plus yard receiving seasons without a quarterback, you know, yeah. for... Multiple years now. Reminds me a lot of DJ Moore. Just doesn't matter the quarterback. He's putting up his yards. He's putting up numbers. He's a great guy to get catches. Yep. He can catch literally anything in sight, Terry McLaurin. It would go with the theme today. Former Buckeye, yeah. Eddie George, Chris Carter. Mm -hmm. Been a Buckeye kind of day here in the break room today. Let me guess. We're sold out. There. I said Steven. There Steven. Steven. What's up, way. Mr. Lenhart? Uh, the fourth practice squad double already, Alex, That's right? right. Practice squad double number four. Go ahead and drop me two box numbers, guys. Let's see if it's Big Ben time. Uh, let's see what we got coming up in the practice squad. Michael Bennett is ready. He wants 10 and 30. Thank you, Michael. We'll get 10 off the ticker. And 30 as well. All right. He's going with two of Messi's numbers. Not bad. I mean, so far he's been calling heat in this break, right? Oh, yeah. Although, I'll be honest with you. I know someone had the comment earlier. Comment pulls a lot of fire, and everyone's saying Michael's calling a lot of heat. With how good these breaks are, let's be honest. It's not hard to call out fire, and it's not hard for me to pull out fire because the stuff in the break room right now is just next level. Seven clicks, Chris Ripka up top in the NFC North. What's up, Chris? NFC South is William McPherson. Michael Bennett's got the NFC East. Steven Lenhart, NFC West. Uh, we got William McPherson, AFC North. Michael Bennett, AFC South. Donald Garrick, AFC East. And Michael Bennett has the AFC West. We'll start with box 10 and build it away to box 30. So Michael's got that Washington spot here, Alex. Uh, good luck, everybody. 10 out of 35 here in the practice squad. Ooh, we got a full-size helmet here. 
man. We're talking about all these Minnesota Viking headliners. But we're getting Minnesota Viking fillers as well. Chris Ripka, his second Viking of the day. How about Dante Culpepper, baby? Uh, former Pro Bowl quarterback times three. League leader in yards, league leader in touchdowns. He was throwing a Chris Carter next to him right here. Kind of fitting there next to each other, Alex. He was also throwing a Randy Moss, who's still out there in that ball break. So congrats, Chris. Dante Culpepper, full-size rep flash. Not too shabby for a filler hit in the practice squad. All right, Culpepper. He had this thing. He was rolling when he got touchdowns, Alex. Yeah. Had a cannon of an arm. He could run as well. Uh, just a really, really solid quarterback uh, in the early 2000s. Bears could have had him. They had Cade McNown instead. So that was another one of those when the Bears missed their quarterback situation. Yeah, they definitely could have had a lot of guys. Although that's changing now, Alex. It is. It finally is. It's changing now. A week. A week in, or eight days now. Eight days till the NFL draft. That's wild. Congrats, Chris. Congratulations on Dante Culpepper. I know uh, Michael and William, as Washington fans, are also pumped for that second pick. Oh, yeah. Who do you guys want as your quarterback? Do you guys want May, Daniels? Do you want to do something crazy and go like McCarthy? I know Bo Nix, Michael Penix. Uh, there's a lot of options at that quarterback spot. I think Daniels is the mock pick for most people, right, Alex? Yeah, for, after, like, uh, once the combine hit, it kind of flipped. Yeah. So, Michael wants Daniels. Okay. Yeah, he'll be really good. I saw him play in person against Mizzou last year. It was not pretty for the Tigers, I'll tell you that much. The Mizzou Tigers. For the LSU Tigers... It was very pretty. Me and Dom are Drake May guys. Okay. All right. We'll see. And we got a mini helmet here. It is Michael Bennett with the rival team. It's a cowboy mini. Uh, we got one of the best offensive linemen to really ever play the game. Let's be honest. Zach Martin. Oh, Getting yeah. this chin strap put in nicely. Uh, beautiful hit. Beckett certified Michael Bennett on the Zach Martin mini. So a couple fillers there. Which means the headliner odds, I said 10 and 25, Alex. Mm -hmm. Well, now it's 10 and 23. That's almost 50%. Uh, so, nine Pro Bowls, seven-time All-Pro. Uh, one of the best in the game. Actually, every year, right? Every year, but one he missed the Pro Bowl. I think Bowl. he was hurt. Yeah, had 10 games. Yep. So, every year he played the full season, he got the Pro Bowl, Zach Martin. He says, thank you. You're welcome, Michael. You are welcome, everyone else. Jump right back in, Alex. Yeah. They get a hit? They finally got a hit. Ah, there you go. That's a, little, a start. little bloop single to right. That's usually how it happens. Bloop and a blast, hopefully. That's what happens. Good job, Michael. Good job, Michael. Zach Martin. All right. We'll put this mini helmet away, and then we're caught up for now. That is probably subject to change. Diamond double will definitely happen during the noon hour, Alex. After that, we'll see what else we can knock out during the noon show. 12 p.m., 3 p.m., 6 p.m. Central Time every single day here at UA. One mm -hmm. 1.45 right now. Uh, like I said, if we're busy enough, we can skip our lunch break. But otherwise, around 2 o'clock, 2.15, around that range is our normal lunch break. So if you guys want to get in... Uh, for this program, hurry up and get those spots uh, here in the next 15 minutes or so. Definitely Diamond Double will happen. That's only two to go. Otherwise, you know, six to seven spots away in a lot of these breaks. I know the minis are four to go, hoping to get that mini break done. Uh, that's the Chase Wheelspin, Roger Craig, Earl Campbell, two headliners in the final three boxes. And then, of course, Alex... No reason why we shouldn't run back the practice squad. Yeah. Right? I mean, the headliner ratios are incredible. Ten headliners in 23 boxes. That's almost 50% in the practice squad. We have actually, I believe it's better than 50% in the vault, though. Uh, we still have most of the stuff out there in the vault. It's probably easier for me to say what we don't have left, which would, I believe it's just uh, O.J. Simpson, Drew Brees, 
and Shannon Sharp. Everything else is left yep. in here. So we did one vault double. We're down to 29 vaults, 15 total headliners, counting the listing. If we count the Michael Vick, Warren Moon, Alvin Kamara, Ricky Williams, plus four vault keys, Alex. So 19 out of 29 boxes have either a vault key, um, you know, a full-size authentic headliner, or a full-size rep headliner, or a secondary headliner. Pretty good. That's not bad odds. Uh, diamonds, which I just mentioned. Uh, like I said, we're down to just 14 left. Jefferson, Sanders, Steve Young, Emmett Smith, Michael Irvin, four ego quarterbacks on one helmet, plus Marshall Falk. The secondary name, it's a 7 and 14 chance. NFC West with Young and Sanders. NFC East with Irvin Smith. And the Eagle quarterbacks are great double-up possibilities, guys, in the Diamonds. And that just sold out. Perfect. Diamond double just sold out. Mini double, three spots left. So, guys, this could be the last break of the show. Although, I think we could knock out another mini break. And perhaps maybe one more practice squad, Alex. But I guess time will tell. Yeah, I don't see why not. Let's see that mini break. Three to go. Yeah, that should happen. So our second diamond double. And this desk could very much change. The Big hit time. video could change. I mean, I would say Rice is safe. Curtis Martin is safe. Chris Carter is definitely nervous. We have to pull out two good ones. Yes. Yes. Two real good ones. I know it's a rep, but that slate is nice. It's nice. I like the slate as well. I like the slates. I know we'll definitely be doing the John Elway slate in a hit video soon as well in that vault break. I'm trying to think if I like the slates better than the, you know, the Eclipse and the Lunars. It's hard for me to say better or worse. It's just different. Yeah. The flashes I like better for sure. Mm. It also depends on what team it is. That's true. I do like some of the Lunars a lot. So yeah. it is obviously a matter of personal preference. Uh, William McPherson, uh, he won 6 and 18. Thank you, William. Uh, Jonathan, Chris, Stephen, William, and Stephen. So 6 and 18, those work. And Stephen Lenhart is the guy that actually closed it. So thank you, Stephen. We'll do 6 and 18, Alex. So 4 and 5. Then we have 16 to 17 now. Do we have number 18 in box 18? Justin Jefferson, maybe? Wouldn't that be nice, right? Yeah. That'd be very nice. All right, good luck, guys. Seven clicks coming up here. A four hour diamond double box. Double the boxes, double the fun. All right, seven clicks. Steven up top. Uh, he's got the NFC North. Jonathan right below in the NFC South. Chris, the NFC East. William, NFC West. Stephen, AFC North. Jonathan, AFC South. Stephen, AFC East. And Stephen's got the AFC West here in our Diamond Double Box. Good luck, guys. Looking for some headliners in our Diamond Series. A lot of awesome stuff in this break. Right, let's start with six. The Jay Cutler Box, Alex. There we go. Uh, what do we got in here? Let's see. Oh, yeah. This one, I think, has to go on the desk. I know it's the same look as the rice, but it's Deion Sanders. Ooh. Prime time on the Niners lid. William McPherson, congratulations. The box number mojo. Uh, maybe the best corner of all time. And his one defensive player of the year award came with the 49ers six picks three pick sixes yeah. in 94 for prime time uh part of the 50 plus interception club it's beckett certified he was a you know all pro as a cornerback as a kick and punt returner he was a baseball player he's a great football coach now everybody knows Deion sanders one of the most recognizable sports names in football history 90s people 2000s and even folks right now, everybody knows Coach Prime. Sports Ryan. history. You know? Absolutely. I mean, he's got the second most return touchdowns ever behind our guy, Devin Hester. Oh, yeah. uh, and, you know, my mom's, or my girlfriend's mom, not a big football fan. She knows all about Neon. She, she's like, Deion Sanders, is that Neon Deion? I was like, that's him. Oh, yeah. And that is definitely him. 
Can I double up with Young now? We'll see. Uh, it's possible. I, what you were saying would happen. Yeah. Honestly, we might have to, like, do Niner theme. We'll see, Alex. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. That'd be sick, man. That'd be really sick if you double up with the Steve Young as well. Uh, just saw a recent story about Deion Sanders, Alex. Uh, one of the professors at Colorado emailed him telling him oh, that yeah. the players were slacking off. You know what Deion Sanders said? He talked to the players, said, you're grown men. Don't slack off in class. Mm -hmm. Focus on your education. And that woke up those kids. Because a lot of football coaches might have said, who cares? Yeah. They're here to play football. But Deion Sanders knows very well that only a small percentage of his players will play in the NFL. A lot of those guys that were goofing, they need that education, right? Uh, so awesome leader of men, uh, Deion Primetime Sanders. All right, 181429. Is this the lucky order number for William McPherson? Already got prime time. He wants the Steve Young next. A Niner theme yeah. headliner video. It's like, would we knock out Carter? And I guess we'll have discussions, Alex. Yep. It's good problems to have, right? First, we got to see it happen. Uh, let's see if it's inside box 18. Looking for that Steve Young Chrome Speed Flex William. Meanwhile, Chris Cornwell, big time Cowboy fan, Ooh. wants Emmett Smith and Michael Irvin, one of those at least, in what? box 18. All right, got a full size authentic. Oh my God. Oh man. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. It's not the Niner you quite want, William, but it is the NFL's. Third all-time leading rusher, Frank Gore. It is a Niner double up. It Ooh. is a fantastic hit, William McPherson. Primetime and Frank Gore. Most carries ever, third most rush yards ever, one of the best backs ever, Beckett certified future Hall of Famer, Frank Gore. So, I mean, I know it's not Steve Young, but that's a double up, Alex. And oh, yeah. that's definitely money well spent for William. And it still goes with the Niner theme here in the UA break room today. We got the two best Niner quarterbacks still out there, by the way. Yeah. We have Montana in the vault and Steve Young in the diamonds. Yeah, speaking of the vault, Pat Rich hopping in. Two spots in that double. What's up, Pat? Now, the vault is the chase wheel spin this show. Yep. If you guys want to be in the chase wheel spin, I would say let's knock out that vault pretty quickly here, Alex. Got to gotta move some... Move with some step in that vault break. Yeah, William, that's a great double up. Uh, very nice, he says. Nice double up with one spot. I'm happy. Yeah, you cannot be unhappy if you get a headliner and then the NFL's third all-time leading rusher. Uh-huh. 180 bucks for that break. Uh, these two lids combined together are worth way more than 180 bucks. Money well spent, to say the least. You double up in any break, you did great. Yes, 100%. Uh, you With one spot... I mean, you double up with one That's spot. Just a bonus. Uh, it's just, it's perfect. It is absolutely perfect. So, vault is six to go, Alex. Uh, we got the minis are what? Three left still? Minis are three left still. So, and then the practice squad is a little bit open right now, but that could change, obviously. Eight spots to go in the practice squad, six to go in the vault, double. Diamonds, eight to go. Practice squad, seven left. Vault is eight to go. Jersey, seven to go, eight to go on the diamonds, three to go on the minis. Here's what we'll do. At two o'clock, we are doing the vault wheel spin, unless that break is full mm. or like one or two away. So that means we'll be here till 2.05 at least, at least 10 minutes. If we have some action in the next 10 minutes, we'll keep going. Otherwise, we'll take a brief lunch break at 2.05. The goal for the next 10 minutes is knocking out this mini triple box break, three spots left. Obviously, you guys want to get a vault done. You guys want to get a diamond done. You guys want to get a practice squad done. Those are good options as well. Diamonds now, Alex, by the way. We are now down to 13 diamonds left. Is that right? 13 diamonds left. Six, nine, 10, 13 diamonds left. Uh, so we still have the Steve Young Chrome Flex, the Justin Jefferson Authentic, the Emmett Smith, the Michael Irvin, uh, the Eagle Quad quarterback, and a Marshall Falk. So one, two, three, four, five, 
six photo headliners in 13 boxes. Actually, I think it might even be 12, Alex. Math is hard for me. No, it's 13. It is 13. All right, so 13. So six headliners in 13 boxes. Uh, not too bad. I always say if we're down to 15 or less, and there's a big name left, there's a big chase, well, there's arguably five big names left. Really, technically, it's eight if we count the four uh, autographs on the eagle lid. Yeah. But one massive helmet left, the Steve Young Chrome Speed Flex. Uh, so only 13 boxes left. Uh, these diamonds, like the practice squad, like I mentioned earlier, these will probably not be in the room tomorrow. So I would recommend knocking these out, guys, the diamond helmets. The vault is the chase wheel spin, like we said, unless we close this out in the next three minutes. We're running the wheel spin without you got without the guys in the next break. A lot of big names left. Tyreek Hill, Barry Sanders, Micah Parsons, Sauce Gardner, CeeDee Lamb, Michael Irvin, TJ Watt, Randy Moss, Joe Montana, John Elway. Holy smokes. We are full of headliners in the vault. The practice squad, like we mentioned, guys, uh, we got two Washington headliners. We have the triple sign jersey and the McLaurin. Two Steeler headliners, Big Ben, Jerome Bettis. We got a Puka Nakua, Sean Alexander, double up in the NFC West, Brian Dawkins, Max Crosby, and only 23 boxes left in practice squad. So, guys, up to you guys. What you want to rock and roll with? Uh, definitely hoping to knock out a couple more breaks during the noon show. Yeah. In the meantime, let's talk hit of the show. This it's is hard not tough. to go with a speed flex. The Curtis Martin? Yeah. I'm going to lean that way only because of the auto quality. Me too. Uh, this is a beautiful lunar flex uh, with the green visor. I'll two ago with Jerry. Jerry Rice. We see him a little bit less often than Deion Sanders. Yeah. Uh, NFL's all time leading receiver. I agree with you. Jerry Rice is my number two. Prime time is the bronze medal. And Chris Carter, fourth place, the slate helmet. Yeah. Uh, fourth all time in receiving touchdowns. The fourth best hit of the early show. For now. For now. Unless there's something crazy here uh, late in the show. Chris Cornwell got a spot in that diamond double, get a seven away. What's up, Chris? He wants those Cowboys, Alex. Uh, he is looking for some Cowboys. Emmett Smith and Michael Irvin, two of the most iconic Cowboys ever. Mm -hmm. I said it last night, and I do mean this. If I could have one Cowboy autograph, I'd want the Emmett Smith personally. That's yeah. the, the best Cowboy of them all, in my opinion. Emmett Smith, and it's the Camel Authentic, which is super uh, duper clean. So that diamond break, you know, if not the rest of this show, certainly during the 3 p.m. hour, uh, that break will be hot. Uh, even if these breaks don't happen this show, you get your spots in now, gives us early momentum for the 3 p.m. show, Alex. Exactly. Uh, no doubt about that. So one more minute for the vault wheel spin. In case somebody closes out this vault here real fast, we are rocking and rolling with that vault wheel spin. Definitely think the diamonds, the practice squad, and the vault should all be hot at 3 p.m. Minis will knock out as well. New series in the room. Mm -hmm. A lot of great options, Alex. A lot of great options. It's almost overwhelming how many good things there are. It's insane. I think that's what's kind of hard for these guys. Like, do I play the practice squad? Do I play the diamond? Do I play the vault? You could play all of them if you want. Up to you guys, of course. All right, let's do this vault wheel spin. We had, what, one double box? One double. So this is it for the vault. So three minis left. Uh, William McPherson. We got two headliners left. Earl Campbell and Roger Craig. So two headliners in the final three boxes. Uh, not too shabby in the minis. And I normally would like to do a double and a single in the minis if there's one headliner left or no headliners left. But given that there's two headliners, that's what called for the triple box, Alex. You're welcome, William. You are very much welcome. Five, six, and seven clicks. It's Steven Lenhart, the guy that won everything early today. He's got the wheel spin. Steven, let us know what number you want to start on. Otherwise, we'll start you on... One. We'll give Steven about 30, 40 seconds here. And you guys got about three to four minutes here until 
five. I have to close up these breaks. Here we go. Steven wants 31. All right, Steven, thank you so much, sir. We'll start you on 31. Big money spin. It's pretty good, Alex. It's more than double where he started. 65. There you go. Now we got to do the math. Is that good or bad? Had he started on one, would it be 31 more or 31 less? What did he start on? 31. Honestly, I don't know. That's what we said. It's hard. Either way, 65 bucks, Above not half. bad. Above half. Uh, not bad at all. 61, $65 gift card. He can get in a practice squad break. He can almost get in a vault, almost get in a diamond. No, but the practice squad is a buy-in. It's less, says William. Okay, so William is better at this than us. So, actually, it's good he started on 31, Alex. There you go. Uh, good job there, Steven. All right, last little peek here. Last call for orders, guys. Uh, for this early show, the noon show. We are right back here at 3 p.m., though. So, if we don't get these breaks filled up the next few minutes, Alex, we'll take a 55-minute uh, lunch break and right back at it at 3 p.m. Uh, we should have a hot 3 p.m. show as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're literally getting down to the nitty-gritty, right? 13 diamonds left. Uh, we got, you know, six headliners left. Uh, we got practice squad 23 left with 10 headliners left. Uh, those two breaks should be getting pretty darn close to knocked out during the 3 p.m. program. If not 3 p.m., for sure, 6 p.m. Mm-hmm. Any final thoughts from you on the show, Alex? No, we pulled a lot of heat, but I still think, you know, some of the best helmets are still out there. Mm -hmm. Steve Young, obviously, the Jettas and the Diamonds. The vault hasn't really been touched. Vault Randy Moss and Barry Sanders and Barry with Sanders. inscriptions. The John Elway on the slate. Yeah, that Joe Montana. The sauce is sweet. The sauce is flex. Yeah, the vault is really good. I, I guess it's just like it's been behind the Diamonds and practice squad, but... Yeah. That series actually has even better headliners, Alex, in my opinion. Yeah, and then obviously uh, so. the practice squad. Getting an authentic for under $50 is... Big Ben Roethlisberger. Yeah, that's that's some great stuff in there uh, for the 3 p.m. show. So let me refresh things here, take a quick peek, see if we got any other final action for the early show. Uh, Chris got in here about five minutes ago to put that diamond break at seven to go. So I think this is just about it, Alex, for the early show. I uh, want to thank you for co-hosting, producing, uh, doing a great job as always, Alex Telez. Thank you so much to the customers for watching, for chatting, for buying. You guys make the show possible. You guys are the best. Good news, brief break. You guys get your lunch, we'll get our lunch. We're right back here at 2.05. Right now it's two, about to be 2.05. We're right back here at 3, Alex in 55 minutes then we got the guys tonight at six o'clock as well mm -hmm. uh we'll have breaks pretty much the whole day as i always say when we're busy it's 12 p.m to 11 p.m with a few brief breaks yeah so thank you guys and we'll see you in 55 minutes